with my first trick shot. Oh! oh. Got, oh. It. Oh. Got it! Here we go. Back time. Yeah. No practice. Today. No practice. Not practice today. One shot. All right, guys, here we are. We're in Maine, and we're gonna do another edition of Coyote's Cribs, or I should say the Brave Wilderness Team's Crib, because this is where we've been staying for the last couple of days. And we're right on the waterfront here, so it's been pretty awesome. It's a little low tide right now, a little foggy. We've had some really beautiful days out here, but uh, just so happened this day has got the classic Maine fog uh, socked in look which I think suits it. So without further ado, let's grab our cameras and go check out this house. All right, Mario, I'm coming around. Look at that. America. Beautiful. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if, uh, if anyone's home. Ready? Yep. You did tell me we were doing this, right? Uh, yeah, I hope he's... Oh, oh there he is. What's up? Hey guys, how are ya? We're doing good. Come on inside. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Whoa, look at all this room. We are in Hartswell, Maine right now. And this is another edition of On Location Coyote's Crib, where we take you on a tour of a house that I don't actually own. We're gonna explore the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the upstairs, the downstairs, the nooks, the crannies, the trinkets, you name it. If we have it, you're gonna see it. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go this way. Woo. Now, last time, we almost forgot about Mark's room. So today, we're gonna look at Mark's room first. Let's see what he's got. Woo, check this spacious spread out. Ooh. Man, Mark, look at this horse. Looks cozy What kind of horse is that horse? Well, it's a horse, of course. Pretty fancy horse. Yeah. This is Mark's bed. This is where he sleeps. Look at these pillows. Is this a comfortable bed? It is. Oh. oh man, I think it's more comfortable than my bed. What's over here? It was comfortable. Oh man, check that out. We've got some photos. I love everything that's on the walls in this house. And as you can see, I'm obviously a giant because I can touch the ceiling. I feel like LeBron James in this house right now. Normally, I can't touch the ceiling. Even you can touch the ceiling, Mario. Woo, that's an awesome room. So. Whenever you have an episode like this, and I know last time we were trying to reference MTV Cribs. I don't think some of you have seen MTV Cribs and everybody was like, Coyote, how much sugar did you eat? I didn't eat any sugar this morning. Let's look in the fridge and show you guys how much food we really have with sugar. Oh, that's a little oh, sparse. Man. Hey, we ate all our food. Where'd all the food go? Hey man. What? Somebody ate all our food. Must have been the main Sasquatch, but he left behind the blueberries. blueberries Check that blueberries, out. Blueberries. Yeah, that's my favorite right there. Put a whole bowl mm. of that's where you get your energy. Mm -hmm. oh. Blueberries provide so much natural energy. Mm. Main blueberries. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we also have water and my personal favorite, tuna fish. This is like cat food in a can, but it tastes amazing. All right, let's go this way. Wow! Now, sometimes, I sit on this couch right here, I'm gonna finish my carrot, I've got these binoculars. Ooh, do you bird or something? Is that for birding out the window? I mean, we have all these windows. Now, there are a lot of great windows for birding, but actually, I use this to watch the TV. And I'll tell you what, it looks like a big screen TV when you're looking through the binoculars. All right, let's move on. Woo! Huh! I'm not allowed to go over there, though. You see that? I'm not too close. This is uh, this is my area. That's just Mark's gear. Just stay back. Coyote doesn't touch the camera gear, but what I am allowed to touch is this little workstation right here. Check it out. Oh, cool, look at this. Which scorpion sting is worse is actually trending number eight in the world right now. Really? Why don't I go ahead and answer somebody's comment? Josh Georgeson says, are they poisonous? No, George, they're not poisonous. They're actually venomous. I will write back to you after we're done filming this video. All right, let's go in this corner over here. Hey, hey, what's this? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, we'll get to that later. 
Don't look inside of the bubbling black box. Head that way. Why can't we look in there? That's for later, guys. I promise we'll get to see what's in there, but not until the end of the video. Oh, this is actually one of my favorite spots in the house. All the way on the other side of the room, this is the media chair. I put my feet up like this, and then I crank up my boom box. A, bo a what? A boom box, kids. In case you didn't know, this plays not only CDs, it also plays cassettes. Check this out. Is that where you put the uh, da, 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 Don't touch! Nope, that's where you put in the cassette tape. No MP3s up in this house. We're old school. What's a cassette tape? Look it up on the internet. Trust me, it's good stuff. Okay, let's move on. Love that boom box. Bom, 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 bom. Check it out. It's the bathroom, which also doubles as the laundry room. There's a dryer and a washer from like 1985. And right behind me here, this is the shower. This is where I clean up after a hard day's adventure out there filming episodes for the Brave Wilderness channel. La, 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 la. Okay, let's look over here. A wooden toilet seat. A wooden toilet seat. And this is where I take care of business. We call it seeing a man about a horse. And there's some quotes on the wall that I can read. Don't wait for your ship to come in, row out to meet it, dad. And it's Father's Day, that's a perfect quote. Okay, let's go this way. Now, if you thought that the downstairs was exciting, just wait until we go upstairs. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, oh, but be careful, the stairwell is kinda tight. Gotta work your way up this direction. Oh man, I hope you guys are excited because we've just entered my bedroom. First, let's check out what little coyote's up to. Hey buddy, how's it going? Hey everybody, hope you're having fun out there in YouTube land. I got a giant turtle today. Actually, little coyote has his own bed. Check out this mansionist spread, right? For him? Unbelievable. Yeah, little coyote and his turtle sleep on this bed and I sleep over here with these giant fish. And as you can see, they do have spikes on their back dorsal fin there. Ready? One, two. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, not on this edition, <laughs> huh? Let's go in here. Oh, it's Mario's room. One Mario, you've got this entire space to yourself. Do you really need four beds? One, Look at this. Two, three, four. Oh, and here's mini Mario. Oh my goodness, I'm just here on location right now. I can't see anything. But oh. Let's go this way. <sighs> I love this house. Now, if you thought the inside of the house was exciting, just wait until we go outside. I've got a big surprise for you guys. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Here we go. Ready? Ready. This is the super cool hangout board. Slide the screen to open. Check it out. Woo! How cool is this? This is awesome. This chandelier is super cool. You can sit in this chair. You can sit in this chair. You can sit on that futon. Or my personal favorite is this tiny little chair here and this really ancient FM AM Panasonic radio. Aw, look how cute it is. Does it work? Oh. Ooh. You got some tunes. It's Portugal the Man. Yeah. It is Portugal the Man. Hey, we like those guys. Hey guys! Portugal the Man, John, if you guys are watching, you're actually on the radio right now, this ancient AM FM Panasonic radio in the middle of Harpswell, Maine. That is pretty awesome. All right, so I know you guys were super excited about that black bubbling box that we had up in the family room. I know Mark was pretty excited about it. Oh yeah. Like a little kid in a candy Let's shop. Let's go check it out. So I'm sure at this point you guys are all saying to yourselves, what's in the box? What's in the box? Let's go inside and find out what's in the box. First trick shot. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a horseshoe for you, Mark. I like red. Favorite. Red, that matches your shirt. Mario, blue, that matches your shirt. And I will be the yellow one. 
because that's kind of green and it kind of matches my shirt. So we're all gonna throw out the exact same time. All right, here we go. Ready? Ready? Mario, you ready? Okay. Here we go. Exact same time. Yeah. No practice. No practice. No One shot. Oh, so close, bro! So, so close. close, bro! Well, let's head up to the house and see what's inside the box. All right, guys, it is time to find out what is inside of this box. Are you ready? What could it be? One, two, three. Oh, Nopstas! These are the three lobsters that were used in the filming of the Lobster Pinch episode, all of which are saved and are now going to be released back out into the ocean. Hey, what are those bubbles there? Uh, this is so that the water stays perfectly aerated and the lobsters stay alive. The water's very cool, kept in the shade, and aerated, so they are healthy, they are happy, and they're about to be released back out into the wild. All right, I'm gonna put Lonnie in here first. Woo, he's flicking water everywhere. In you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, I know, it's a tight fit. Then we're gonna put Angry Andy. There you go, buddy, in the bucket. And last but not least, little Lucy. There you go. All right, guys, let's head down to the ocean. So it's low tide right now. It is low tide. We gotta walk way out there. But that's good because that means when the tide comes back in, the water's gonna get real deep and the lobsters are gonna be further out than if we had just released them right on the shoreline. The first one to be released is going to be little Lucy. Let me take the rubber band off her pressure claw there. Here we go. Next up, big old Lonnie. Hi, buddy. Whoa, he's a beaster. And just as I promised, angry Andy, it's time to release you back out into the wild. Look at that, he's even waving goodbye. Bye, buddy. Woo! All right, well, all three lobsters are back off and into the wild. And that wraps up another special edition of On Location, Coyote's Crib. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. All right, that's a wrap. Off to the next location. If you thought this crib was incredible, make sure to go back and take a tour of the house in Tucson, Arizona, where we found a Gila monster in our backyard. And don't forget, subscribe, so you can join me and the crew on our next location.